I'm Chrissy Cooper and I'm a watch commander um, Farnham Blue Watch. I've only been here six months, seven months now actually. Um, yeah, before that I was at Camberley Fire Station and I've served 20 years in the South Fire Service. I always wanted to be in the fire service and I could always see myself, oh I'd love to sit on one of those fire, I'd love to do that, you know. Mm. Went to a careers evening and whoever was there said to me, oh no, women, no, not, they don't, no, you can't go in the fire service, no, it's a man's job. So I thought, well okay, I can't do that. So I sort of joined the army, do some, you know, I was a physical training instructor, so I did lots of good things in the army. But I was always in the back of my mind thinking, oh, if only I could have done the fire service, you know, because it just really appealed to me that, you know, your days can be so different you never know what you and i like that aspect i like the the element of surprise or the element of shock as you called it i, I like that i like being tested like that every day So yeah, really, really important that we get involved with as much community as possible. And we've got a real push uh, in this brigade at the moment, I'm, I'm sure it is uh, um, national, that we try and get to see as many vulnerable people as we possibly can. A bit of string if we take him out for a walk, so he doesn't get lost, look. <laughs> you love that? Yeah! Make sure he doesn't go off on his own. But because of the fire statistics and fire deaths, through the year, it's it's proving that the, the vulnerable people are the people that will end up dying in fire. So they're the people we really need to try and get out and visit. Guidelines, we use those uh, with our breathing apparatus and it's mainly used for an area that is, is a large area that you can't search with a, a small team of people. So I used the scenario this morning that our appliance bay was a large garage and it was filled with smoke. So if you go to a garage fire, it could quite easily be that big and it could have vehicles in it. But to be able to search that successfully um, and make sure that you do it properly and if you're trying to locate casualties, then you'd need a guide around, around that garage so you lay out a, a line to follow, basically, and off that line, if you'd gone further into it and we had more people, you could bring other lines off, off of that, so that nobody actually then gets lost in that area. Firefighter William 210, Firefighter Nathanus 240, over. Such a basic idea. I think guidelines have been in the fire service since it first began. It's a, literally a bit of string with some knots on it, but, and that is how basic it is. But it's, it works. Oh, I'm trying to get my shoulder cut. Oh. How did that go? Well, it seemed okay. I was in here most of the time. So. <laughs> How did that go? It was alright. Got you know we've got varied equipment and we've we've got a, a lot of different ways of you using it. Um, the equipment over the years again is has really come up lots. We've got. Um, you know, the spe specific equipment for specific instances. Flooding again, because we weren't funded for flooding up until I think last year. So that's up and coming as well, and we're getting far more stuff for that. What we're doing is um, just trying to set up, got some hose inflation stuff, so we can fill a hose full of air, because it's falling in the river, and then because it, it floats, we push it out to them, they can grab hold of it. And do, do. So we're just trying to simulate a certain scenario that this bit is a bridge <laughs> and down below that is the river because Brian's going to show us a special technique that he's recently learned um, to simulate if someone's falling in how we can stand on the bridge and get the hose down. That's why we're just a bit of setting up. Yeah. being jolted if, if it means saving their lives. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, once it jolts, if they're holding on to that and it jolts, they could they could come out of it because it could get whipped over there. They could... Yeah, I think it's all...
much as we could. Yeah, we've got the banks there, the banks yeah. there. Yeah. 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 So then the cash will come in, theory, start off flat again. Yeah, I'm sure when you first drop it in, so it's more wholesome to grab Joe, and as soon as they hit it, you then start doing it until it loops around them. Yeah, so what happened, Joe? Look, that comes under the arm. We'll put some strain on it. Yeah, three feet four, four strain. Uh, John, three. And in theory, if we're at the right angle, we should now be able to retrieve the knee to squeeze the bank. You come down, grab onto it, and yeah. wrap it around yeah. it. Yeah. So if you want to come swinging into the bank, you've got to make sure that if you've got debris, trees, logs, you're going to have to make sure you're swinging them in in a place that's safe for you to do so. Any workplace you go into, they'll see team work is really important and you need to know your team's strengths and weaknesses. But of course, on this with this sort of job, it's more so than ever because you're your life or your colleague's life and certainly the public's life will depend on how well you work as a team or could depend on that. We've got it now, we've got some control, yeah. We could think about we could think about maybe going And it is very much like a family, you know, you spend a lot of time you eat together, I was gonna say you sleep together, but you sleep on station, you know. So so yes, you spend a lot of time here. I know the guys really well. So ever since I've been in the job I can probably count the number of people on one less than one hand who I haven't liked. Okay? And I think that is testament to the fact that the type of people we get that join the fire service. Because generally speaking, people who join the fire service are pretty nice people. That's what, that's what I think anyway. A bit of banter as well. Yeah, we've got to have it. I'll Oh, wouldn't you? Come on. 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 Come on.